This is an adult coloring and variety channel intended only for adults. Welcome back to my channel everyone to part two of my adult coloring book collection. Um, so let's get started. This one is my this first set of books is the very first set of books I ever got. I got them at Walmart back like a year of it was like a year and a half, two years ago. By Crazy Art, it's Thomas Thomas Creation, uh, Thomas Create Creations by Crazy Art, Magical Mermaids. Um, and I didn't do anything in here. Which is just, you know, put your mermaids and see things. So let's first one show you. This one is also. Oh, sorry, I moved you. <laughs> okay, this one is also Thomas Creation by Crazy Art. It's called Splash of Color. More sea things. Because I like uh, ocean and marine stuff. Crabs and. Well, I mean, these pictures of crabs and whales and just um, sea life. Next one again, Thomas Creation by Crazy Art Magical Garden. Nothing done in here. Just like lots of flowers and garden type pictures. Another crazy art by Thomas Creations. Words to color by. And I actually have a, a whip. It's barely a whip. I just like barely started and never got back to finishing it. It's you can see these things are these things are colored in. <laughs> you had me a wolf. It's just word pages. Big chances. Little things. Dream big. Just word pages with a bunch of Zendulli or picture pages. My daughter did this one for me. I have this one I'm, I'm, I'm up on my wall. Music is my life. I'll just show you her picks one these days. A few of them. Moving on with another Thomas creation by Crazy Art. Spread your wings. Basically, things with the wings, and basically the bulk of details bugs and birds and. Butterflies. And I actually, I think, oh yeah, I have one in here. I can think, of, yeah, one or so in here I think I did. There's one I did. I forgot about that one. I did that one. And I think I have another one in here. This one, I wasn't crazy about the background. I did a great background and I didn't like it too well. <laughs> There's hope and a bunch of, bunch of butterflies and flowers. That's only one I did in there. Only two. Another Thomas creation. So I'm going to get a couple more of those. My crazy art, of course. Same company. 
Dreams take flight. Basically the same, like birds and some of the words on them. This one's some kind of horse with wings. on here. This one I really was proud of. My owl. Hiding the flower looks like highlights on it. That was like attempting to do that and learning a little by little, by little to do things. Nobody liked that one. And I don't want to do it out of here. Some kind of really super colorful bird with glitter in it. <laughs> I like that one. Hopefully you can see. I don't think that's it out of here. Yeah. Sorry, I'm sniffling. I've got allergies or acting up a little bit. Thomas Creations by Crazy Art Colors in Bloom. I think I did the very first page in here. Yeah. No rain, no flowers. Mostly just flowers and both things that bloom. Some more pages too. Wait a minute. This is my very first ever coloring page I ever did when I first started coloring. So you're seeing my very first one. Believe in yourself page with flowers. Is that any better? You can see. That's my very first one. I was really proud of this one too. This was a color buddy I did with my daughter. She also likes to color. Again, with a using uh, white as highlights and learning how to you know do the highlight thing where it looks like the flowers are bending down. My first attempt at that. And believe it or not. This is all Crayola super, uh, not super tips, the regular Crayola color pencils because that's my main pencil I use besides, I have a small thing of prism colors at the moment, but yeah, that's how, how I like that one I think. Let's do a few more pages to show you, this basically flower pages, hence the title. Flowery pages. So that's all on that one. And the very last Thomas creation I have by Crazy Art is Whimsical Friends. Oops. Sorry. Mermaid tails. 
big huge fish butterflies bird and I think there's one or so in here yeah I did this back January of this year my mermaid this was um well color pencils and that hardcore gold glitter you see there is the Al I believe it's Elmer's Elmer's glitter is it Elmer's glitter glue I think it's Elmer's in gold I wish it would make more colors as good as they made that glitter gold glitter because it's really decent glitter as you can see blinding you probably <laughs> Okay, I think that's all of that book. Yeah. Oh, jeez, 11 minutes so far. No, I didn't do anything in any of these. Don't judge me, because like I said, I just like to collect the books also. Home sweet home. Illustrations by Steve Duff and Duck. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing that name. Steve Duff and Duck is what it looks like. Hopefully, you can see that. I didn't do anything in here. See the other side of this book. I'm sorry if it's not a very good view. Coloring Faith book. Um, Jesus Always Creative Coloring and Hand letter Lettering by Sarah Sarah Young. Embracing Joy in His Presence. Well, you can see that lighting. Faith based book. Um, uh, scripture on that side. I don't know about every page, but it's hard to, these bigger books are hard to manage. Yeah, I know my view. Well, these double sided ones is going to be a little harder to show you. Because of the view. Can't put my camera up any higher. You can read for yourself. These are all the rest of the rest of the pile here is like a double sided book, so they're gonna be a little bit harder to show. But basically you can see I have that one. Show you what I can. Well, next one is my only Johanna Bassford book. Uh, uh. Lost Ocean, I'm sure you've all seen 
this one, so I'm not gonna flip through too much. Again, double sided, so it's harder to see if you are new. I've got to tempt anything in here. Kind of intimidated a little bit. It's my only one I have from her. Found it at Walmart. One day I was out there, I was like, ah, I'll grab what I can find what I can find out there. Um Romantic Country by Erie. I was always wondering whether that was eerie or how you pronounce that, but that's what I heard a lot of people um, call my name eerie, so that's why I, why I said eerie. I'm sure you all know about this book. These books, like I said, are a little bit harder to show. With my camera set up right now. But like I said, I'm sure you now know about this book. Okay. And Kirby Rosanis, Imagine Morphia. I got this one because this was the only one that. Uh, sort of appeal to me the, at the moment anyway maybe as I grow into this more I'll, might get more of his books another one that intimidates me and I haven't touched it but I'm glad I have it because like I said I like looking at just just having these books and just being able to sit down just looking at the illustrations makes me happy So, I'm sure you all know about that book. I don't want to show too much of it because it's hard on with my setup here. Um, this one is a bit, like, unique. I got this one on Ollie's, I believe. It's not original. It's by the company. Illustrated, I guess, by Valerie. McCann and it's Chalk Style Botanicals and what it is is like back back backgrounds and lining and it's like real thin like parts of it something different I thought I think like I said I'd find it always and I thought it was just something different to try just for fun Just most, it's like mostly like lines, but with pictures too. Something different. And it's only a couple of dollars, probably like two. I love always when it comes to finding something really, you know, I hate to use the word cheap, but you know what I mean. I might as well show you these last four in this video, this part of this video, and then we'll move on to part three, and I think part, part of part three will probably be the last. These are the only Christmas books I own at the moment. And this one's from, again, I got this at all, found this at Ollie's. Robin Mead, a very blessed Christmas coloring book. Holly Crafts by Robin Mead. I think you can see that, yeah. I'm just... Robin Mead, very blessed Christmas. Faith based, like a church. So I love stuff like that. 
double sided. I'm not really super in love with double sided books, but it's nice to have a couple, you know, to try. You want to use all, try to all pen, use all pencils, of course, because I don't trust any other mediums. But it's kind of like a homey little Christmas book. Fireplace over here. Candles on the side. I meant to tell you my first video. If anybody, any of you like any of these, well, I don't know where you could find any of this, maybe these older books. But if you want to see a flip through, just because you're curious or just want to, just want to see something, just let me know. Colors over here, but that's that one. Next one is. Hello Angel Winter Wonderland Coloring Collection by Angelia Van Dam. Angelia, Angelia Van Dam. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Okay, let's see. No, wait a minute. I'm sorry. Let me get to the pages. Some of these books, um, original designs have like, uh, um, they call these front pages. I don't know what to call them. Starting here with the snowflake, snowman, big bunny, mittens. I don't know. I mean, men's acorns. I don't know why, but I was thinking that was his feet. Uh, just different things about winter. One more page. Skis. Here's another one of the same one I just showed you a few minutes ago. Almost like a Valerie McKeon of the uh, illustrator. Uh, chalk style holiday. Color with all types of markers, gel pens, and color pencils. I'm so sorry for the glare. The black letters, everything. Wait a second. Look at the pictures here. It's kind of sort of a pain whenever the beginning of the book is like. Use y'all as a preview or examples. Here we go. Snowflakes, the color. Something different. Black backgrounds with the, you no, know, just something different. That's all. And the very last one I'll show you at the moment is an original design originals. Deck the halls holiday coloring book. I believe I did. Right. It's a Christmas book with winter pictures, that's all. No, I remember now. I did do one in here for Christmas last year. I, was last year. I remember that one I did, but I couldn't remember what book it's in. Christmas of last year, I did this one. And I made the little black and white kitty 
the same identical to look exactly like my little guy that I had back uh, almost like 15 years ago. I had my little, his name was Oreo. Looking exactly like him. So I made him to look like him. In memory. So yeah, I'll leave you with that picture last. <laughs> um, that is all for part two. Um, I appreciate you watching. And like I said, if you want to see a flip through or anything of any, for any reason, just let me know. Um, and I appreciate you watching. And like I said, there will probably be both. One more, um, one more part to this series. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy uh, what you see. And I appreciate you being here. And thank you everyone. God bless. Take care. Bye-bye.